In this video, I will step you through the process for creating a shared OneNote notebook in a student H drive. This is meant to step you through the process, so if at any time you need to pause the video to complete the task, do so. In the new version of Microsoft Office OneNote 2010, under the Backstage or File menu, we will click New. The first thing you must decide is where you're going to store your new notebook. In our case, we want to share the notebook using the Cary Academy network. So we'll choose the second option here, Network. Now it's time to name your notebook. Typically, we want to name the notebook a combination of your name and the class. So for example, mine might be Literature Sam M. The literature will help you utilize your notebook, whereas the Sam M will help your teachers keep organized. Next, we need to select the network location. Choose the Browse button. At this point, we want to enter the server location of the H drive. So under folder name, we're going to type very carefully first double backslash, which is located above the enter key, then all one word, carry academy, no spaces, there will be no spaces in anything here, then dot org, another backslash, root, another backslash, students, another backslash, homework. Once we've typed this, we can go ahead and click Select. At the very top, you should see Returns, so we can go ahead and double-click that, which should bring us to a screen that has all of the different grade levels then search for your graduating year and now that you're in your graduation year you should be able to find your folder based on your last name once you've selected that folder click select Double check that the information on your screen is correct, that you want a network shared folder, that you've given it an appropriate name based on your teacher's instructions, and that the network location is indeed your returns folder. At this point, click Create Notebook. You'll be prompted as to whether or not you'd like to send an email, and this really isn't necessary. So choose no thanks. At this point, your literature notebook, or whatever notebook you created, is identical to any other notebook you would have created before.